Here at home, the politically charged sexual abuse trial of Brigadier General Jeffrey Sinclair may be coming to an end tomorrow. CBS News has confirmed he's agreed to a plea deal admitting lesser crimes, but not sexual assault. Don Daler reports. As deputy commander of the 82nd Airborne, General Jeffrey Sinclair was one of the Army's rising stars. But after pleading guilty to numerous instances of conduct unbecoming an officer, his future is not nearly as bright. Sinclair was accused of forcing his mistress to perform oral sex, threatening to kill her family, and performing sex acts with her in public areas. Sources with knowledge of the proceedings tell CBS News in return for prosecutors dropping those charges, the general will plead guilty to lesser charges of maltreatment of a subordinate, disobeying a commander's order, using inappropriate language, and misusing his government-issued charge card. He had already pled guilty to charges of adultery, asking female officers for explicit photographs, and possessing pornography in a conflict zone. Despite those admissions, Sinclair's wife, Rebecca, said on CBS This Morning in November 2012, she would stand by him. They're going to see this for what it is, and they're going to drop the charges, and they're going to let us go on with our lives. Sinclair could still get prison time, but will not have to register as a sex offender. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.